So if you recall the UTEC Smart Venus mouse, you could probably recognize it's very well received reviews on Amazon. It's a very popular MMO mouse and just gaming mouse in general. I personally haven't used the mouse, but many people have compared it to other heavily marketed and mainstream brands of mouses or mice. And the UTEC Smart brand is no stranger to gaming peripherals. And today we're looking at their Saturn gaming keyboard. Hey what's up guys, my name is JD from JD Tech here and welcome back to the channel where we discuss PC passion, tech reviews, unboxings, and setup design. So if you're into that sort of thing, consider subscribing, checking out the rest of the channel and becoming part of the Tech Junkie family. Now this is a full 104 key keyboard plus additional media functions at the top. It is a membrane keyboard with rainbow backlighting and there's no software or anything, it's just a simple plug and play keyboard. Now I know most people would prefer a mechanical keyboard and there are mechanical keys for the same price, but there are still plenty of people who still prefer the silence of membrane keys regardless of silent mechanical switches and moving on the keyboard features a braided USB cable kickstands in the back to elevate the keyboard and a water resistant design with 10 drain holes on the bottom of the keyboard now let's talk about the ergonomics the layout of the keyboard is fairly straightforward and everything is easy to reach and flows nicely while gaming now some people may not like the vertical enter key which is understandable but for some reason with this board the enter key still feels in a natural placement and in comparison i have another keyboard that has the same layout but for some reason feels a lot more out of place and more out of the way to press than on the saturn keyboard now the wasd keys and the arrow keys are both present on the arrow keys and the WASD keys themselves. The angled bevel on the front of the keyboard makes a natural resting place for your wrist which is pretty nice and the keys have a nice matte finish which is a definite pro in my book when it comes to keys on a keyboard. The keys retain a smooth and stealthy feel and don't oil up and look shiny unless your fingertips are covered in grease. Now I really like the feel of this keyboard but when it comes to tactile feedback obviously it's not going to be anywhere close to what a mechanical keyboard is. The keys do feel mushy, but that's what makes them silent. And now I have had experience with keys that are membrane, but with more tactile feedback like the Mage GK1 that I reviewed a while back. But when it comes to casual gaming, this board will get the job done and with silence. Now here's what they sound like. There's also 19 non-conflict keys, which keeps the keyboard from ghosting, meaning you can press multiple keys simultaneously, which is nice, especially for gaming, as you may need to press key combinations. So what about the construction quality? Well, this is a pretty sturdy keyboard for being entirely made of plastic. Its low profile body keeps it sturdy while typing, and the board will also creak under excessive pressure and focus points. Now the keys are silent and don't squeak while typing, at least in my experience. The keys are also laser engraved, which is really nice, so it keeps the letters on and they don't start immediately wearing off. Now, as you can notice, the lighting on the keyboard is okay. It's pretty dim in comparison to my other keyboards, not to say that the lighting is bad, but it's not very bright. The brightness is controlled through the rotary switch at the top of the board, and some buttons on the keyboard, like the backspace, doesn't get fully illuminated. Other than that, the board has some nice lighting features. The lighting controls included in the packaging is a little confusing at first, but here's the coloring options. Hitting the FN button or the function button with F9 or F11 gives you multi-color options. Now you can cycle through those color options by hitting the light key. If you want a static color, just press FN and F10 and hit the light key to cycle through the different colors. You can also control the lights by hitting the FN and the light key to switch through the backlighting being on, off, or breathing. The lighting choices are limited, but you do get to choose from a small amount, but good variety of colors. UTEC also sent me their $10 mouse pad, which I may switch to as my everyday driver, and which I actually did. It covers a good amount of surface area, about 12.6 by 10.6 inches. It's also very low profile and doesn't slip at all, which is really nice considering my Red Dragon mouse pad slip all the time. It's simplistic, doesn't have any crazy graphics, it tracks nicely and smoothly. There's no threaded sides or anything, but this mouse pad really gets the job done. And with so many mouse pads being on the market it, and just to find one simple and solid quality can be a lot more difficult than you may think it may be so uh, it may look cheap in comparison to other mouse pads but don't be fooled it performs well I mean even look at the reviews they're very positive overall for $30 I would recommend this keyboard now there are plenty of gaming keyboards on the market but UTEC smart has a pretty reliable name when it comes to PC gaming peripherals and this board follows suit when it comes to that quality now they don't have a bunch of gaming peripherals on there but for every peripheral that they made 
they've all been very good quality and has been very well received. Now the lighting is pretty dim in comparison to other boards like I mentioned earlier and the rotary switch remains on even when the PC is in sleep mode but the ergonomics feel and silence of the keys are solid. Now I'm aware that there are some mechanical keyboards around this price range as well but I don't know if they will offer the same tier of quality when it comes to gaming regardless of the tactile response and actuation pressure of mechanical keys. Now I really do like this keyboard and this is speaking outside of the script here uh, and I've kind of sworn against membrane keyboards for a while just because I love mechanical keys but this board has been a very pleasant experience for me so far. I hope you all enjoyed the review and remember if you want to see more videos like this consider checking out the rest of the channel and subscribing and let me know if you want to see more budget keyboard reviews in the future. I know there's plenty on Amazon so let me know I'll go ahead and buy it and see if it's actually worth it. Thank you all to the tech junkies watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.